Public works of art have a way of defining a neighborhood in every way possible, from providing a landmark for directions to changing people's attitudes about their surroundings, their neighbors, where they call home. Someone who understands that is mural artist Lisa Marie Thalhammer. It's why she's made creating powerful, striking messages centered on love, acceptance, and empowerment her mission. Now, here's her story. Murals take a ton of time, they take a ton of money, they take a ton of energy, they take a ton of courage to just really get out there on the street and paint. I know that making the murals helps make the city a better place and helps improve the community. I see it, you know, I experience it, I live it. I was born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri, right outside of Ferguson in Florissant. My grandpa opened our family's truck stop in the 70s and you know there weren't any fast food places in it it was a you know homegrown old school kind of diner i worked at my family's truck stop from a very young age and i just really enjoyed meeting people getting to know people learning about travelers and people's journeys i also kind of dealt with a you know a a good amount of what we would call sexual harassment at the time. As a young woman trying to navigate through a very heavily male dominated environment, and I think it informed a lot of my work. And so I did do a whole series of, you know, women with trucks earlier on in my, in my creative practice. I had always watched my mother craft things. You know, my mother was probably my earliest creative influence. So I wanted to go to a program, a summer program at the Art Institute of Chicago, but it was kind of expensive and it was a struggle in our family to like send me, send me to that program. Well, after a lot of negotiation with my father, we made a deal that if he sent me to the summer program, then I would paint a mural on his garage. And so my father was actually my very first mural commission. And I'm still to this day painting murals on garages. So wow. that's kind of cool. So I had graduated from art school in the Midwest and I thought I want to be a painter. I need to go to New York. Uh, and then I came to Washington to visit a cousin of mine, Keith Fritz, who was a furniture designer. And I just fell in love with Washington. You have the museums, you have a huge culture industry, you have the embassies, people here who really value and respect art. The mural making process is very different. You know, we are making sure we have permission to paint the walls. We're getting public permits. We're involving the community. First, I always visit the site because really I want to understand the audience. Then I will go to the sketching phase of the project and I'll sketch out a couple different ideas. The mural making process is really for me about building community and when you put all those elements together and you put a vibrant 32 foot tall empowered woman on the side of a building, the neighborhood just gets better. People respect that corner, they respect the art, they respect each other. If you put positive intentions and positive healing vibes and energy into a place, you see the results of it. Uh, when I first painted Boxer Girl in 2009, there were not really very many murals in Washington, D.C. The D.C. Commission on the Arts and Humanities had just created this Public Art Building Communities Initiative, and I was one of the first grant recipients of that program. And so it was really the beginning of what then birthed all these beautiful murals that you're seeing pop up all over Washington. My love mural is my favorite artwork that I've ever made. And the reason being is that I've seen so much joy. I've seen the love mural inspire others in a way that you don't see very often. You know, it's, it's really uh, rewarding as a creative person to be able to watch on social media all these photos, all these images of people expressing their love and expressing joy. When we paint these murals, we're kind of changing the energetic or spiritual vortex of a place. You know, we're really changing the energy. We're taking a place that was maybe overlooked 
and transforming it. And the love mural is just such a perfect example of that and how it can really put a neighborhood or put a place you know, on the map as a destination. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You know, making a painting or making a mural is, is difficult work, you know? When it's finished, it's a great feeling. You know, it's like, oh, wow, you know? And you kind of, then you sort of birth this, this artwork and it has its own life. It's like having a child, you know? You, you create something and then it goes on to live and interact with other people in a way that I don't have control over. In, the end, I just want to keep making and keep painting and, and keep bringing like the color to people's lives.